Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank God for this new year. Welcome to the new year, brethren. Uh, the last time we had this devotion was the year 2020. And today, now we are in 2021. Wow, what a good day. We thank God that the first week of the, of the, of the month is almost over. And uh, we are now already on day 14. We are on day 14 of the month. So the month is, is going on. The year is soldiering on. And uh, we are set, we are going, we are soldiering on, and we believe, we trust that the Lord will be with us along the journey of life this, uh, this, this year. Brethren, this year we are starting with the, with the theme of the farm foundation. We want to learn and to put our faith on a firm foundation this year. And we want to ensure that our faith is not that kind of shaky faith being tossed by every wave of, in life here and there. But we want to be people who can stand firm like a house that is not shaken during a time of storms. Praise the Lord. The theme of the, of the diocese this year is farm found laying or building a farm foundation in matters of faith and it is found in the book of matthew chapter 7 verses 24 to 27. in this story the lord uses the picture of a lang the, 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 the picture language to persuade his audience to take faith seriously to take faith seriously and to live the faith they profess it means that our god expects all of us who claim to be believers, who claim to be his children, to belong to his kingdom, that we must be sincere. We must be committed to faith. We must, we must avoid hypocrisy. We must live a sincere faith for our God. Christ in this, in the, in the theme scripture tells his audience, it is not just about calling me Lord, Lord. Oh no. It is about doing what I teach. It's about walking the talk. It is not just about claiming we are Christians. That is not enough. It is about living every day as Christians. That Christ describes faith as a house which the believer lives in. Uh, the believer builds for himself. And the believer is the builder of his own house of faith. This tells us that it is a person himself who builds his or her own faith. Growing in faith, brethren, is a deliberate effort that calls for wisdom. Thus, a strong faith house is built by a wise person, but a weak person of faith is a, a weak house of faith is built by a foolish person or the weak person. The book of Proverbs, brethren, gives us two types of personalities. The first is the wise man who is also considered to be righteous. While a weak man is also considered also as the fool. The fool is not a person who knows nothing. No. The fool, the one who knows nothing, is called an idiot. But the fool is one who arrogantly remains in error, even when it is abundantly clear what he is doing is wrong, or even when he knows the truth. That is why the Bible says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. So you see, this, this is not somebody who does not know God, but he decides in his heart that there is no God. So today, brethren, I would like us to share about the wise man who builds his house. And we are told that he builds, he builds on a firm foundation. This firm foundation, brethren, I suggest to you, is about righteousness. We need to discuss what is the firm foundation. And I suggest to you, that this firm foundation is about righteousness. In the book of Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs chapter 10 and verses 25, in the book of Proverbs chapter 10 and verses 25, the Bible says, when storms 
has swept. When the storms have swept by, the wicked are gone, but the licious stand firm forever. Proverbs chapter 10, verses 25. When the storms sweep, the wicked are gone, but the licious stand firm forever. Why? Because their life is founded on a strong foundation. And this foundation is licentiousness. So they are not thrown here and there. They don't fall because of the storms of life, but they stand forever. So these are two personalities compared against the other. The characteristic of the licious is that in the time of storm, they are not shaken. Instead, they endure and stand firm. They are never moved by temptations and sufferings. They are not shaken by challenges of this life. They stand firm. Thus, licentiousness is the strong foundation of faith. What does it mean to be licentious, brethren? What does it mean to be licentious? To be licentious, this is the character of doing light. To be licentious is the character of doing light. The quality of being light or just. Thus, a licentious person is a just person. Indeed, in the New Testament, brethren, the Greek term dikaios is translated to be just or to be licentious. It has got those two meanings. So if we are learning from the knowledge of language, the chaos would mean, would be translated either just or it can be also be translated as licentious. The licentiousness, that licentiousness has to do with doing the right thing without being prejudiced or without being partial. The way of the light, the way of the righteous are just and fair. And the doings of the righteous are pure and blameless. They are without prejudice. The righteous are witnesses of the truth and will never be influenced by bribe or prejudice. Righteousness, brethren, is about justice. It's about being fair and giving everyone that which is lightly theirs. The book of Psalms, brethren, chapter 4, verses 15 says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to his cry. That is what, how God relates with the righteous. His eyes are ever watching the righteous. God watches upon the righteous, and he hearkens, he listens, he pays attention, his ear is ever attentive when the righteous cry, when they call upon the Lord because of the predicaments that they find themselves. God listens to their prayer. So you can see, brethren, the reason why the righteous will endure forever. The reason why he will endure forever, it is because the Lord Almighty watches over them. So, righteousness, brethren, is a strong foundation. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them, and he delivers them from their troubles. It's a strong foundation. When the wit, when the fool, when the people of this world are fighting with the storms and they are being thrown here and there, the Lysias will cry to the Lord and the Lysias and God will listen to him. Therefore, his faith will not be shaken. His life will not be shaken. He is not tossed here and there everywhere during the time of challenges, during the storms of life. And the storms will come. Troubles will come. It is not that uh, anybody is spared, nobody is spared. But if a Christian is a person who has 
taken his life and his way of life is to be righteous, to do the right thing, to be fair, to trust God in righteousness. The Bible promises that God will deliver him in all his troubles. The Psalter, in the book of Psalms, chapter 27, we are told, we are told, the wicked will soon perish, but the righteous will endure forever. So you see, sometimes the weak people, they seem as if they are the ones who are prospering. But their foundation is shaky. It is on the sad. They seem to be prospering, but all of a sudden, they are swept away because they were not standing on a firm foundation. I suggest to you, what is the firm foundation? The firm foundation is a righteous life. It's a free life. It's a fair life a life that is committed to justice, a life that is committed to doing the right thing. The Bible says, I was young and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging food. This is a testimony of King David. And he tells us since his youth, he has never seen the righteous having been forsaken by God. He has never seen the righteous having been forsaken by God, nor his children begging for food. What does that tell you? Righteousness, brethren, is a strong foundation on which we can build our faith house. Be Christians who are righteous. There are many Christians today who don't care to be righteous. They don't care the way they, of life. They profess to be Christians, but they don't care the way of. They will be unjust. They will be corrupt. There will be thieves, there will be evil-minded people. They can commit any crime, any wickedness, but yet they are Christians. But a true Christian, he is committed to righteousness. And if we are committed to righteousness, brethren, I can assure you, this is a strong foundation that the word of God consistently cons confirms that we shall not be forsaken, that we shall not be shaken, because God will watch over us. God will come to our aid. God will hear our prayers and deliver us at the time of need. The righteous has got many troubles, but God will deliver him from them all. Therefore, what can we say? I exhort all of us, brethren, to pursue righteousness, and we shall enjoy. The Psalter says, the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is our stronghold in the time of trouble. Brethren, if you love God and you want your salvation to stand, the salvation of the righteous, it comes from the Lord. Brethren, do you wish to remain loyal to God and live many years? It is all about righteousness. It's about being humble. It's about pursuing what is light. It's about willing to learn about God and to live by the demands of justice, by the demands of light, of being light, the demands of righteousness. It's a strong foundation in a fallen world and corrupt world where people no longer care about justice, about honesty, about fairness. A righteous person stands up. He stands above. He shines above every other person and his cause is defended by God himself. Think today, go this day, go this year, desiring to be a person who can be called and who can be described as righteous by all people because of the way they see you live and because of the way they see you relate with them, whether in business, whether in employment, whether in your house, in all you're dealing with people, act and stand firm. Be a person who is righteous and God will bless you because you stand firm and you stand on a firm foundation. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.